people watching us, you're watching the and Africa in Qatar 2022. It is a special World Cup show that we will be running periodically during the period of this World Cup in 2022 in Qatar. It's all about. AFCON is the African Football Scouts and Coaches Association. It is an association aimed to bring an identity and credibility to the job of African scouts and African coaches in Africa for Africans. World Cup because Nigeria is a budding talent, is a is a, is a, is a brewery of talent. More talent will come up. Um, the five countries representing us, I think. Um, they are pretty much the best that we have right now going to this um this world cup there's no doubt about it Look on this program today the head coach of sierra leone and um, he doesn't need much introduction to the nigerian uh, but to the world let's talk about him uh, john kester has... i think saka is a generational talent so i don't think he's going to be a player who's going to be in and out like Although other other Nigerian guys who have chosen other um, chosen to play for England, like John Fashanu, Agbo Lahore, and a host of others, they've they've kind of regretted it because they were not generational talent. So the motivation there is is the belief around that we can go and do a job because nobody expects us. Just like Sierra Leone going into Nigeria with the four four you just mentioned, you just spoke about. We went into Nigeria knowing we're going to go and try because they're a good side. They're one of the best in Africa. But well, we went there, you know, to, to give 110 percent thinking, well, again, when we when we started and we went four nil down, it's like we have to go for it. It's either we we go and get something or we get we get done. The Saudis, and if you if we go back slightly as coaches, that coach has coached two African teams to AFCON victories. You can see the difference when you have a good coach and you have players who listen. They listen to what he said, they had the self-belief. This is what we need in Africa. Good coaches and self belief. I think Senegal just need a bit more. They need a bit more in the final turn. Uh, here in Morocco, we are all confident about the, the team of Morocco because we are sure at 100% that the coach, Mr. Walid Regi, has chosen the best players available, actually. I, I, the idea of the Ghana game, I understood, I understood, it, I understood it yesterday. The idea of the Ghana game, you are playing a very quality side. The Ghanaians, I can excuse them, play a quality side because Portugal, for me, in the whole, or the whole of the World Cup, Portugal is the team with the most creativity. But when you look at Cancelo, you look at Guerrero, you look at uh, Otavio, Vitinha, Bruno Fernandes, um, Joao Felix, these are creative players. A lot of creativity in every, coming from all angles, Bruno Fernandes, I'm um, sorry, um, Bernardo Silva. So the creativity is a lot of creativity in the in, in, in the in the Portuguese team. So the I, the, the, the fact that the, um, Ghana decided to stifle what, what what you said, yeah, Ghana did that yesterday. They stifled the middle. They 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 did not allow them to create until that goal came in. After the goal, I think they lost a bit of their discipline, and it was everything was just scattered. But before that goal, for the penalty, they were able to constrict the middle, the, the center of the field, tighten every, tighten up the whole space with the, with the five defenders. Three central midfielders and two strikers that they played. With one of the strikers dropping back, um, Andrea, you was dropping back to sometimes to up in that middle. So they made it four in the middle and they forced the the uh, Portuguese Portuguese team wide. But the, the, the resulting consequence of that is that when you now get the ball, you cannot go forward immediately because the person they had in front, as I said, was not a target man. It was Inaki Williams. Inaki Williams is known for his pace. We've actually seen Africa emerge finally. Uh, the first round of games or their first games they drew blanks except Ghana uh, second games we've seen about seven goals from the African nation. but unfortunately I don't think they're going to do much in this in, world, in this World Cup um, first of all uh, just to reassure you um, I returned to the news about Brill and Bolo mentioned earlier the house of Brill and Bolo's family in Cameroon was not like that <laughs> These are images from another event, and this has been corrected after investigation. By so I think it is a lesson African nations are supposed to learn. At high-level competitions, we don't joke at high-level competitions. Cameroon, the indomitable lands of Cameroon. Controversy never ceases from African football. I don't understand why. Hopefully, these boys turned up.
And we have to say congratulations to all the five teams from Africa that have done us proud um, in Qatar at the moment. So in fact, if it ends tomorrow, I think we have availed ourselves very, very well, much better than we did in Russia four years ago. So, congratulations, Africa. Um, we got uh, one out of the eight quarterfinal berths in the FIFA World Cup for the first time in 20 uh, years. Out of that number four, I mean, he was like an engine. There, up and forth, up and forth. Ziyech, wonderful player. What else can we do? to actually enhance the capacity of people in Africa to make them through coaching, through scouting, and through other areas, what is missing from our game in Africa. To their technical center, I was shocked. You see, the girls have an all-round camp. It means after every month, the girls are in camp. And the football uh, development there is an all-round issue. It is not like... But because of what happened in 2010 like you said so it's going to be a very particular game that no one here should miss and i think for me for the five uh, representative i think that ghana and morocco will stay senegal tunisia uh, yeah senegal tunisia <laughs> are, are coming home but morocco and uh, Ghana will stay. I think this is our job. I think our association, this is the, the job that we have to do. We have to write our own story. We have to have a book. If we get the, this book and put our ideas together and teach our future coaches, Mark Marwood, they will be coaching in all around the world. You name it. But we need our own book to show our international coaches. But Thank you very much for Kolo Ture, and then we hope other Africans will, I don't know, will push hard to get this job. If it's about CVs, we all have CVs, we all have links.